In this video, I will show you how to create idea pins in Pinterest. And if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like on the video, and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So to go ahead and create a idea pin on Pinterest, it's very, very easy to do. And as you can see, I'm currently on Pinterest logged into my account. The first thing you're going to want to do from here is come to the top left hand corner and you want to click onto the create option here. So underneath here you can see we've got two options either to create a normal pin or an idea pin and of course what we're going to do is click on to create idea pin. From here you've now got the option to either drag and drop images or you can actually click this button and what you can do is actually add images or videos from your computer. Um, of course they do recommend using only high quality .jpg files which are less than 20 megabytes or if you're using videos you want to use .mp4 files less than 100 megabytes for the best possible quality. So what I've done, I've chosen to add this image here of a computer and what you can then do is go through and fill this in. So you can put like your idea pin title, your link and you can choose if you want to publish it to a board. So for example, I've got this one I set up called technology test. So I'm going to select that board and also you can add tags related to your topic. So I could put like um, computer and every tag that you put in is going to give you match tags. So you can go ahead and choose one of these. So I can put like this one and you can just go ahead and add as many tags as you want to help your idea pins get discovered. So once that's done, you now need to click onto the next section, which says to add the details. So that's this one here. And what you can then do is pick a details template from here which can help bring your idea to life. And they can tap this to see from any page in your idea pin. Finally, you've got the advanced option section down here. So if you go ahead and give that a click, you will see this, there is only one thing in here, which is called shopping recommendations. And what this does, it basically shows similar products. So you can change this, of course, in your profile settings if you want to. And once everything is done and you're happy with your idea pin, what you then want to do is come up to the top right hand corner and you'll see a red publish button. So what you want to do is just go ahead and give that a click and you'll see it's going to come up with a screen like this where it says warming up the pin machine. And it's just going to take a minute or two to go through, get everything set up and get your pin idea published. And as you can see, that is now set up ready to go. So we can go ahead and watch this. Of course, if you've got more images, it's going to go through like a slideshow and it's going to give information about the user and things like that. And you can put comments and so on and so forth. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today. If it did, I'd really appreciate it if you was to leave a like below the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.